everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is natalia lee i'm an indie author and the managing editor at enchanted ink publishing and today is october 1st which means we are officially in preptober season if you don't know what preptober is it's essentially october uh in which writers who are preparing for nanowrimo in november prep plan and plot their nano novels. So if you are going to be taking part in NaNoWriMo this year, especially if you're new to the channel or new to NaNoWriMo, then I want to tell you all about the 2023 Preptober Workbook. Let's get started. So as I hold up this Preptober Workbook, you're going to see that the light changes a little bit as my camera adjusts. We're just going to go with it though. So like I said, today is October 1st. It's officially fall and it is officially time to prepare for NaNoWriMo. I am so excited for NaNoWriMo this year. I already know what I'm going to be writing. I plan to vlog as much of it as I can and I am just so excited this year. There have been years past where I haven't been as excited or you know I didn't really know what I wanted to work on but this year that is not the case. I have been excited and I have known what I'm going to work on for like two months now uh, but I digress. We are here to talk about Preptober and the Preptober workbook. So if you don't know I put out a Preptober workbook every year and this Preptober workbook helps writers prepare to write a book for NaNoWriMo. Now you can use this Preptober workbook uh, whether you are a new writer or an experienced writer. You can use it for a brand new story. You can use it for a story in a world or a series that you are already writing. So it can be utilized pretty much by everybody across the board. Now the pages that you decide to use will likely depend on, again, are you writing a brand new book? Are you a new writer? Kind of where you are in your writing and storytelling journey. Now this workbook comes with over 70 pages worth of content. There is so much in here. Now some, just some of the pages in here are going to be a master and weekly to-do lists, live stream tracker, word count and word sprint calendars, um, a writing schedule, developing writing routines for yourself, and there are different prompts that you can respond to just to get really clear on when you're busy, how much time you have, how much of that free time uh, you want to and can realistically, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, commit to, I guess commit works, uh, commit to your writing and to your writing schedule. There is just so much in here. Like I said, there are over 70 pages of content in this workbook. Now, if you have gotten this workbook in the past, especially if you got the workbook last year, this is the same workbook as last year. I have just updated it. I've updated the calendars. I have updated the designs and the layout and the fonts and stuff like that so that it is fresh for this year. But just a little warning that if you did download the workbook last year, it's going to have the same content this year. Now, how do you get this workbook if you are interested in it? Every year I put this workbook up for donation. However, this year is slightly different. It is still a donation based workbook. However, I used to send out every single workbook on my own and then I just took donations through PayPal. I am now using a service, an online service that will send the workbooks for me and it's so much easier than sending them all individually and it also means that you can download it right away and because I am using that service they do have a transaction fee that I have to cover so there will be a minimum for the workbook this year. I do want to let you know uh, again it's donation based but it will have a minimum just to cover the transaction fees so that that website can send out your digital workbook as soon as you donate for it. Now I have had lots of people ask me before you know will I be getting this in an actual physical copy and the answer is no. So if you donate for the workbook you're going to get a printable PDF. You can use this uh, on your computer or your tablet if that's something that you do but what I do and what most people do is print it out and I go every year and I get it spiral bound and I get the spiral binding with the front plastic cover just to protect the workbook and then it has a black 
back cover. I love doing this. I do it every single year. I have all of my workbooks on the uh, shelf right in front of me and this really protects them and it's fun to look back on the workbooks every year as well. However, if you're, uh, I think I went to UPS. If your UPS is anything like mine, they recently um, put like a new rule into effect and maybe it's just the one where I live, uh, but they used to do the spiral binding right away. I would just have it, you know, have them printed out and then they would bind it, I would pay and I would leave. This year they enacted a new rule. So it does take 24 hours for them to do spiral binding. So if you are going to take your workbook somewhere and have it bound, you might want to call ahead and ask them how long it takes just because um, I was kind of caught off guard and caught by surprise because that was a totally different situation than the last few years I've gone in. So we live kind of far away from town and I had to drive into town twice to go pick this up. So just something to consider. Another thing to keep in mind that I think is important is because this workbook is so long, getting it printed all in color can be a little pricey if you go to a printing place to get it printed. So if you want the entire workbook printed in color, um, there are little illustrations throughout and I actually got, you know, you can see these nice patterns and textures on the pages. I ended up getting mine printed in black and white and then I just got the cover printed in color because I didn't want to pay uh, for that like premium ink. So that's something to consider is that it can get a little pricey if you go to a printing shop and have them print in color. You could print it at home and then take it in and ask them to bind it for you. Or you could do what I did, which was I had the entire workbook printed in black and white because that's more affordable. And then I just printed the front cover in color and then I had them put that on top. So that's a more affordable option if you wanna have the nice colorful uh, cover on your Preptober workbook. So this Preptober workbook, just like in years past, is available on my website, www.natalialee.com. If you go up to the navigation bar, you will see it says Preptober Workbook. You just click on that. And then on the lower right-hand side, you will see a button that says Donate. Click on that button and it's going to take you to the kind of like add to your cart buy now page. There's going to be a little box where you can enter your donation amount and then you just hit the, I think it says donate or go or submit, something like that. You hit that button, it'll process your donation, and then you will be able to download the PDF and start using it right away. You will not have to wait for me to send everything individually and by hand. So you can start using it right away. Now, one other thing that I want to mention is if you don't want to print this entire workbook, if you just want to kind of pick and choose pages that are going to work best for you, your storytelling and your story, you can absolutely do that. When you have your PDF pulled up, you can just print the specific pages or spreads that you want. And then you can make sure that you're not printing the entire 70 page workbook. If you don't think you're going to use all the pages, you can just print off the specific ones that you want to put in your writing notebook or in your series Bible or story Bible or whatever is going to be most helpful for you. So, that is all I have to say about the Preptober workbook this year. I am so excited to get started. I am so excited for NaNoWriMo to get here. I am going to be posting a different video with my NaNoWriMo plans and with vlogs, not only leading up to NaNoWriMo because I have a lot to do before NaNo. I want to, I'll let you in my secret, I want to completely finish writing the first draft of the second book in my Paranormal Romance Trilogy in October and I also want to finish outlining book three so that it's ready to go for Nano. but we'll talk more about that in a different video. Also I painted my wall it's a beautiful pine green and if you want to see the vlog in which I paint that wall it'll be coming up after this maybe this week probably this week or next week. So keep an eye out for that. If you are interested in writing, publishing, and editing vlogs, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any videos. And I hope to see you back here for Preptober content, NaNoWriMo content, and just all the writing, editing, and publishing content. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.